Allen, otherwise known as Reverse 5 from Instagram, and this is my bag 2014 Mustang GT. So here we have a little overview of my uh, 2014 California Special bagged and boosted Mustang. As a bunch of you may know, me on Instagram from Reverse 5 Here to do a little walk around and show you all the mods done to the car. So first of all, we can clearly see this big ass hood. This is our Cervini's 4 inch cow hood. Uh, I bought it from LMR. Had it paint matched top and bottom I had it I had to have it shaved because it didn't fit properly on the edges right here as you can see yeah these little little lines right here they didn't match perfectly up so I had to have the paint guy shave each side and perfectly align it uh, up here for the grills I did the Roush upper and lower I mean to me the GT500 front end is just a a little too much. It makes it look like a, look at that. Make it look like an F body, like a big old catfish. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's not my, not my taste. This gives it a more modern car, modern street car look instead of that typical 5.0 with a drag pack, so to speak. Later, but overall, it's pretty nice finish. As for suspension wise, I am running the air, Airlift 3 p kit. I do have a BMR tubular K member with a BMR anti-roll bar. I did delete the front sway bar with the BMR sway bar radiator support kit. Overall install of those are pretty simple if you have a general idea of how to use a wrench or two. But the BMR anti-roll bar, I don't know if you can see that in there, but shiny red. The brackets they sent weren't very, weren't very quality enough, so it is kind of clunking and making noise in the rear from where it's welded. As for tin, I do have 35 on the windshield and 5% all around. It gives that that more menacing look while still ke keeping that visibility that everybody loves. Even though I do not recommend 35 on the windshield, I would recommend at least 50 if you are blind. It is kind of hard to see it now to say if you are. Uh, on a back road or something with no lights it is it's pretty much driving blindfold and what it is for exhaust i do have the corsa inch and seven eighth headers going to corsa x pipe to lethal over axle pipes to the corsa black quad tip extremes it does give it a menacing sound going back up front our 5 volt badges are billet both of them there i mean Honestly, they're overpriced for what they are, but they do give the good look I'm going for all white and black. I mean, it is typical, but it's been what I want to been what I want to build. As for the side markers and the headlights, they all are tinted. I got the kit from AmericanMuscle.com. It came with headlight, taillight, side markers, and the little uh, rear reflectors on the rear valence. As for the interior, I mean, it's still a a full interior. We do have my glow shift boot, boost gauge that I recently installed. We got Dyna Performance Carbon, full dash steering wheel. Do have my airlift performance controller mounted. I did mount it right here. Most people either have them hanging in their cup holders or mounted their vents, but I honestly think this is a lot more cleaner option than the rest of them are. Uh, I was going for the seats. They are the stock California special seats with leather with Alcantara inserts 
and embroider in the seats. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, GTCS. The rear seats are matching as well. I do always keep my camera bag and a small detailing bag back there in case my car gets dirty on the road, which no one likes. As for the underhood, I'm sure you're all expecting, I oh, don't mind this, this is from the gauge install because you have to get on there and run the wires through the gauge pod as you can, you can kind of see them, but I'll pop the hood and show y'all what's under it. From what most of y'all are curious about, here's the underhood. It is a Vortec V3 system, Boss 302 intake, three and a half inch outlet turbo guard, powder coated white. Uh, we do have IDX 1050 injectors from Injector Dynamics. Pretty solid injectors for horsepower level I'm reading right now. Uh, Vortec kit does have a 3.3 pulley, stock throttle body. There's those beautiful coarse adders. You can see them down there. Focus. Oh, oh. Oh, well, anyways, you get the point. It's the whole nine yards. I do need to get rid of this factory hood strip because, yeah, it's just ugly and not very maintainable to work under since you're always bumping into it trying to get everything else done. So that's a full walk around on my 2014. Mustang GT California Special. If you've been following it on Instagram, you know. I've had this car for about three years. I have quite the following now, thanks to everybody. But yeah, if you're more interested in seeing the car, my Instagrams will be down below in the description. Feel free to check it out. Thanks for watching.